Hello, and for my 1,000 subscriber video, I thought I'd introduce you to my pet. So first up we have Marley, he's a 2 year old Labrador, he was a rescue dog. He was given to a rescue centre because he was 1 year old at the time and his owners ran a greyhound racing track and they didn't have enough time for him basically. Just like any Labrador, he acts like a complete puppy and he's one of the most chilled out dogs I've ever met. His favourite place to be is just cuddling up to anyone, he loves anyone and everything. He's the type of dog that if someone was trying to get into your house, he would just lick them to death. He loves fluffy toys and he really loves getting loads of cuddles as well. He's very playful, especially with other dogs, but he often scares them a lot because he's quite a large dog and he likes to play with the little dogs. And his idea of playing is running around super fast, jumping over the top of the other dogs and sometimes it scares the owners a little bit as well because they think he's being aggressive when really he's just trying to play. He's a bit of a confused little dog. Next we have Jake and he is the complete opposite of Marley. He acts really moody all the time and he growls at people all the time but he never actually bites anyone, he just puts it on for show. He really loves cuddles and snuggling up to people, he just likes to act like a really manly dog when really he's a little puppy as well. He's been ill for a couple of months now because he had a cruciate ligament surgery in one of his legs and the vets think it got infected recently and so he had to have it taken out and now his leg is just infected from all the gross stuff inside and it keeps weeping gross stuff and it's really gross. So that is why he has a big fluffy cone on his head. We bought him that, it was £40 but it's worth it because it helps him to sleep better and it's not as uncomfortable for him. Jake is also a rescue dog, we got him when he was 5 years old from a rescue centre. He was in a rescue centre because his owner was old and very ill and so he couldn't look after him anymore and they didn't have any close family to look after him. When we first saw him in the rescue centre he was trying to put his paws through the gate of his enclosure and his paws were all bloody, he really obviously wasn't enjoying it and we felt so sorry for him and he was so sweet. Little did we know he was going to be a little terror, but he also loves his toys and his favourite toy to have is a ball. He's terrible in the field when we're walking him because he always steals other dogs balls and won't give them back. Both the dogs like hanging outside for hours and hours a day, but we can't really let them right now because it's too cold. Next we have Squirtle who is a Mississippi Map Turtle. He's about 2 or 3 years old now, I got him in my last year of sixth form which was about two years ago and he was a tiny 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 baby. He was about the size of a 2p coin. I'm not sure if Squirtle is a girl or a boy but I'm just going to call him a boy because I think it's nicer to have a little boy turtle because he's more like a ninja turtle then. I remember when I was deciding to get him or not I was set on getting him but my mum was like don't you dare bring a turtle home and then one day when she came home from work there was a turtle sitting in a big tank and she just couldn't complain really because he, we couldn't take him back and he was really cute and tiny but she is still scared of him. Unfortunately I can't really pick Squirtle up anymore without gloves because he has really really long claws and it's so painful to pick him up it's like having little hypodermic needles going into your skin it's very painful. So that is the end of my Meet the Pets video, I hope you've enjoyed, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers, I never imagined it getting to that amount, which is ridiculous. I really enjoy making videos and so it's just a plus that people actually like to watch them as well. I think even if I had one subscriber just being my mum I'd still make loads of videos because it's just a nice little hobby to have. So thank you again, I hope you enjoy all the future videos I make, bye bye!